Assalamu alaikum guys, look at me! Beanie has gotten his revenge after all the problems we've had he decided to tie me up so I can't even do anything, I can't go anywhere but that's not going to stop me from presenting our latest show here is Susan season 2 of course it's Ikra Kids TV, it's awesome right you lot, you know we've got new features for you, we've got Muslim maestros, we've got the ABCs of Islam, we've got machine downloads and so much more so hopefully when I play it to you now by the end of the show, hopefully I'll be out of this predicament. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. But I'm going to try my best. Guys, enjoy the show. See you in a minute. System 1 loaded. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome once again to the Random Art Show where we're going to continue our theme. Oh, right, creepy crawlies and animals that appear in the Quran, alhamdulillah. Quite a few have done so far. Some have been more of a challenge than I anticipated, but that's okay because it's good sometimes to try and get out of your comfort zone. Don't always draw things you like. Yeah, I know I can't really say that because I used to draw what I, don't, what I like all the time. But I did find the drawback of that when it came to drawing other things that people wanted me to draw, I struggled, okay? So try and broaden your expanse, try and broaden your horizons. That's why we have the Random Art Show, to get you out of that creative uh, rut that you might be in and try and do something different. Today, we're going to be talking about an ant. There is a lovely ant picture that I found online carrying a big leaf and it's going about his business. They say that ants can carry like a hundred times their own body weight or something like that as well. So this guy looks as if he's very happy. I've got it on my phone and he looks very, very content and pleased with himself. Maybe he's going back home after a hard day's work and he's got a little reward, a leaf. Okay, I thought some money would be like a reward, but who knows what they consider to be a reward. Guys, if you want to be on this show with me, or you want your artwork featured on the show, on our Instagram page, go over to our Instagram page right now. I'm waiting for you. Go on. Go now. Yeah. Go over there. Just, you've got your phone next to you. Whip it out. And then go to Instagram, Ikra Kids TV. Oh, there they are. Bitching. Okay, you'll see a picture of Auntie K on the profile picture, right? Go over there and make sure you follow us and if you've got amazing artwork even if it's not amazing why not just send it to us there as well i'll see it straight away that's what i want to see from you guys right let's get down to drawing our little antipoos right as you can see again i've uh, put it into a grid and we're going to recreate that grid a bit bigger but same dimensions same proportions that we have on our picture that we're going to do on our bit of paper right let's whip out the pencil and not using a ruler we're going to draw that mm, it's a little bit of a square but not entirely a square so it's a little bit longish i think that's it and then we're going to divide it in half that way and half this way not using a measurement not using a ruler just using your eye the amazing eye and the amazing brain that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you make sure you use those to do it right again we're talking about basic shapes so let's look at the basic shape of his mm, his head yeah of course right his head is predominantly in the top right hand corner so if we look at our paper here top right hand corner is here so it does touch this line here let's look, zoom in a bit on my phone it does touch that line there a little bit goes over dips down and doesn't fill the whole space i'd say about halfway between here and here the center and here it kind of goes like that it's not a massive head 
after all, he's just a little cute ant, isn't he? Right? Um, something like that. Okay, quite a distance from the top, quite a distance from the side, but right up against this line here. Okay, so we're just going to throw in a simple circle to represent roughly where his head goes. It does dip below this line here a little bit. So we've done that there. Maybe too much. Maybe we should bring it up a little bit. Okay, right now that we've done that. Let's look at his body. Directly under his body, you can see the top part of, under his head, excuse me, is his body, which is a little bit too close over there, Khalil. I'd put it about here somewhere like that. Then the back part of his body goes into that line and goes like that. It's kind of like a cone shape with a sharp end at it. And for his leg, it just about touches that middle line there and doesn't touch the bottom. So it's about there somewhere, a bit curved and there somewhere. The other leg is right on that line there. Here, goes back a bit, doesn't touch the bottom, about there somewhere, simple. Right, his arm is going to kind of go from the center of his body here out to about here, just under his neck. See, it's just a bit underneath his neck, it's not all the way out, so it's about here. It's going to stop about there somewhere. We have to make his body a bit smaller. And his uh, antennae one goes up, nearly touches the top here. Can you see that? Nearly touches the top, so we're going to stop it about there. The other antennae goes up and then across, doesn't touch either side, the top or the right hand side. So I'd go about there, somewhat like that. Somewhat like that, okay, let's look at the leaf. The leaf goes underneath the center line, up here, just behind his head, over here, and nearly touches the back line here, nearly. So we can bring that one up there. Nearly. And then you've got the center line that goes back this away. So you can see what we've done there. We've got the legs, we've got the body, roughly in the same, in the right position, roughly, okay? We still have to look at it a bit more closely and figure out what needs to be moved and pushed around and redrawn, okay? I'm gonna start with his body for a change. I think that is okay. Okay, let me get my bit of scrap paper because I feel like I'm going to start smudging what I've already drawn here. And I'm going to bring that one up. Now his main body here, I think my initial sketch of over here is too far. So I'm going to bring this line back and rub this one off. Grab my tissue, get rid of the flakes. I'm going to put his body around like this. Like this. There. His arm touches his chin and his fairly thick arms. He hasn't really got much definition on his arms. Like this, and you can see his little finger there and his the rest of his hand is there. Right, let's just get rid of these lines here. Rubber, eraser, flakes gone. Okay, something like that. And I'm gonna put these, he's got two lines on his body, one close to his upper torso and one further out like this. It's almost like a bee, isn't he? And he's got one that starts behind that line, goes on that leg and then goes down. And then one goes here and goes past that line here, see? Touches that line actually. And his leg touches that line there and goes, sweeps out like this, a nice, curved leg, his foot, which shouldn't be a foot, should be a ant foot, whatever they call it, got a little hook at the end, and then it goes over there. Let's just rub some of these lines out. Those construction lines that we first put in there, we're just gonna rub these out. Grab your tissue, use that to get rid of the flakes. And let's look at the other leg. The other leg starts on that line. Let's zoom in a tad. Starts on that line, goes back, so we can start on that line there. The other part of his leg starts up here, sweeps back, and goes down. And a slight kink to his leg, right, that's a little kink there, and then goes down here. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. And there's a little shade here, let's just put that shading in now, because I'm quite confident with the rest of it, I'm happy with it. 
put that there. Not bad. Okay, I'm realizing that this point on his tail is not quite right, so let's just change it. Okay, as I'm going through it, I'm looking at it again. Is this the right angle for that thing? Is there the right angle for that thing? Even see these stripes I've got here, not quite right. So I'm just going to make it a bit more curvy. Okay. Uh huh. This one is almost hidden behind that line. Now these lines, these black lines, I put those black lines in, okay? When I found these images online, I put those black lines in as part of my grid system, okay? And that you're gonna have to do the same thing if you wanna use a grid system. And I do really advise you, that's why we're spending so much time on the grid system, because it is so helpful. So helpful to the point where you will learn proportions of things so quickly but after a while, you won't even need the grid system. I promise you, you won't need it because your eyes will adjust to the proportions of things that you look at every day uh, that you can't really remember. But because you've used a grid system, it gives you an appreciation of what makes up a shape of a particular item, how curved they are. Does that curvature give the impression of depth and, and um, weight? And that's what we're all trying to achieve with our artwork. Now, as I'm looking at his arm, I think his arm needs to dip down a bit more like this. It needs to dip down a bit more. It was a bit too straight, I think. And then there you go. Okay. Now I'm going to start putting a bit of shading in here and there because I just can't help it. I just can't help it. I've got to put some shading in and I'm going to put a little bit of shading under his belly like bring it up very slightly then start shading it in making it lighter on the page not pressing so hard and I'm gonna take my rubber and I'm gonna put a little line there and get rid of my flakes with my tissue my tissue is getting really tired now look at it poor thing never mind that's what tissues are for for rubbing away all sorts of stuff <laughs> not just you old uh, eraser flakes mate right there you go Right, so we started shading in and we haven't even finished it yet because I'm so excited by this one. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. Now here, I am going across, I'm doing cross hatching with my shading. You know, I keep saying to you that when you shade things in, keep in the same direction. This is the only time when you can go in a different direction when you do cross hatching. Cross hatching is when you go like this, 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 and then you go across it like this, 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 okay? Cross hatching gives it more of a uniformed look to it, okay? So that is when you can go in different directions. But if you're just gonna do one shade without any, um, one shade without any additional shading, just keep it in one direction for now. Right, let's look at his head. Right, as I said, his head, goes around, touches that line, goes up, but it goes in a bit here because his cheek goes out. As you always find with these kind of cartoony characters, they have the most amazing cheeks. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make it as round as possible, like this. There you go. Now normally, this further along in a picture, I would have already done the eyes, but for some reason, I haven't. So we're going to put those eyes in, but for now, let me just put some shading under his neck here. Because looking at the picture, there is a slight shade there. Okay, let's just get some of these lines under his neck here and inside of his head. Get rid of them, they're not really necessary anymore. And I think we've got the basic shape of the head. And there's lines on the outside. Okay, I'm just going to rub back some of those lines like that, using my tissue to get rid of the flakes. Right, now we're gonna start putting some, let me just quickly sharpen my pencil. Now we're gonna look at the eyes. Again, the eyes basic shape is of course just circles, but not a complete perfect circle. They're quite oval and I'd say it's about there. Looking how far it is from his face, I'd say it's about there somewhere. His face, and I'm wondering if it might be a lady, but never mind. This one is just above that center line there. Just above, nearly touching it, but not quite. Okay, and the eyes, the pupils are this side, giving the impression that they're looking behind them. Okay, the pupils are looking behind them. I don't know what they're looking at. They're not looking at me, I'll tell you that much. Okay. So you have done so many lines, but I'm gonna try and reduce those lines. As I'm looking at it, I'm trying to refine them, try and get them a bit more accurate. I'm 
trying to get them to be a bit more circular. Now this bee, like we did with our ant, has some lashes. So I'm gonna put those in like that, which always indicates it's probably a lady. Okay. Okay, there we go. Do the same for this one here. I'm gonna put that shade in there. Like that, and I'm gonna put this here. Those eyelashes again, quite long. Nearly as long as my eyelashes, actually. <laughs> and here, I'm gonna get rid of some of those lines that we don't need. Okay, and once again, all those flakes are on the page. We're gonna use our tissue just to brush it away. You're just lightly brushing across the page with those, uh, with the uh, tissue. And his mouth, now his, her mouth his, is just underneath that line like this. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger because I think it's a bit small. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger with the teeth. And again, the tongue, the cartoon tongue is in the inside there. Okay. okay let's slightly shade that tongue in. Now, I don't think they have a nose. How they smell, nobody knows. So I'm just gonna leave it for now and put those eyebrow, eyebrows in. Little ticks almost. And now I'm going to look at these antennae. They're quite thick. The round base, a little kink there, and they go up and rounded tip like that. Okay, the same for the other one. Go up and rounded like this. then this line that I did before I'm gonna get rid of it is bugging me a bit and then I'm gonna grab the rest of the leaf I'm gonna turn my page which is I advise you guys to do turn your pages to make your curves a lot more manageable when you're drawing these curvy things because sometimes the, the uh, paper is in an awkward position and it's hard to get the angle unless you turn the page tilt it I should say tilt the page there you go and it's got some lines like this. Let's get rid of these grid lines here. Okay. See again, because my pencil marks are so thick, um, they're kind of harder to rub out, but I'm gonna try and just do it for now. I can still see them, but it's not so prominent as it was before. These lines in here just to give an idea of a bit of depth to these leaves okay well I don't feel like there's something missing I don't know what it is but no I'm looking at it there's nothing missing and let's just do this line here Right, let's have a look at it before we go any further. Yes, I like it, I like it, I like it. I don't know why I feel like there's something missing. I don't know what it is. I think that because there's no nose there, and you know, I'm gonna put a nosing. <laughs> Shall I put a nose? I'm gonna put a little nosing, a little cute nose. Okay, it's not on the original, not that I can see. So that's not gonna stop me, is it? That's the whole point of being an artist. You can do what you like. Okay, I just feel like she needs a nose and I do think it's a she. Okay. Still feel like there's something missing. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, let's put a bit of shading on the top of her head here. Let's put some shading on her antennae. Like this. Just a few distinctive lines to give an impression that it's a, it's a like a cone cylindrical thing and of course the leaf has to have a shade in it as well because it's underneath his neck her neck and then let's just do some shading on her legs again you know it would be nice to have this in color but the color thing we will do some more coloring but for now this is more about just getting it to look really cool with just pencil and getting to learn the basic shape principle 
and of course the grid system which is something I want you guys to definitely try by. I swear by it because I'm telling you it's really helped me over the years to sort of learn proportions and uh, to get pictures to look really really accurate. Right let's have a look at that. I think it's done. I don't feel like I feel like there's more to be done but I think that's pretty much it. Hmm let me have a quick look. I just keep feeling there's something missing. <laughs> It's one of those odd pictures. I don't think I've ever felt this way about a picture before. There's something about it. But no, I think that's pretty much it. Could do a bit more refining with the shading here and there. But as I said, it's not really so much about the shading. It's more to do with just trying to get it to look halfway decent. And I think, yeah, we're probably halfway there. If you guys are having a go as well, you really, you know, have fun doing it at the same time as well. I love doing these tutorials with you guys. I absolutely love it. I look forward to doing it. And it really, it helps me to kind of get back to my roots of just drawing things with pencil as opposed to being on a computer all the time, you know, clacking buttons and things like that as well. So I love just getting back to the basics with a pencil. You, a pencil and a blank piece of paper, there's nothing better than that, I'm telling you. For an artist, that is paradise on earth, I'm telling you. Right, guys, I'm going to draw this one to a close, even though I'm still tweaking it here and there. Oh my God, I can't stop it. Right, yep, 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 yep. Let me just do one quick thing over here. I'm gonna put a bit of shading on the eye here. I don't know why, but I've just got to do it. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, there's nothing else here. I'm just gonna put a few spot, a few uh, circles here to indicate a few freckles. Maybe that's what's missing. Maybe I think that artist who did this could have done a bit, a bit could have done a better job. Okay, could have put a few freckles in there, bits and pieces. I don't know. Right, this guy's obviously professional who did this one, so he's done a fantastic job. Right, let me just uh, keep trying to stop and I keep going. Right, here we go. There you go. I think that is it, he says, unconvinced. Hmm. I think that's it for now anyway. Again, guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me here in the Random Art Studio. You need to be here with me and you need to send your artwork in. All you need to do is go to our Instagram page, inbox me after hmm, you followed us and liked and comment on some of our bits and pieces and make sure you send in some of your awesome pictures three, four, five, six pieces. It's all good, the more the merrier. We'll pick what we consider to be the best ones and feature it on our show. But for now, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Take care of yourself. Asalaamu Alaikum. Still haven't managed to get myself out of this predicament. He's done some really good knots. I'm telling you, I can barely move. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the show so far. We've got a lot more in store for you, so never miss any of our shows. And if you see Beanie, could you tell him to come and untie me, please? Right, guys, take care of yourself. See you soon. Asalaamu Alaikum. Right, let's get out of this. Ah! <laughs> Right? Different things you do. Ipper Kids TV.